हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विवेक दुबे एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन प्लेटफॉर्म यूट्यूब चैनल इंग्लिश पॉइंट टुडे वी आर स्टडिंग प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस टुडे वी आर स्टडिंग प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस आई थिंक all of you are very much aware of the meaning of tense what is tense so tense refers to time and today we have time over present present continuous tense so i tell you where present continuous is used conditions are there i just tell you about present continuous tense when it is used so first the term becomes when an action is continue an action is continue continue at the time of speaking at the time of speaking you can understand with the sentence that right now i am writing a sentence what have i written right now an action that is continue at the time of speaking for example i am i am talking to you talking to you to you so right now you are i am talking to you and you are listening to me both the actions are happening at the time of speaking it means talking and listening are happening simultaneously it means action are happening now so the situation becomes very clear now right now i am writing a word now so it is present continuous tense is that okay now number 2 a second situation for this tense second situation tells that an incomplete situation or action incomplete action incomplete action this is another condition where present continuous tense is used this is another situation for this tense so what is incomplete action anybody guess yes i tell you i tell you that i am reading reading a book it means i am in the middle of reading it i have not finished it yet abhi tak maine isko pura nahi kiya hai it is an unfinished action or we can say incomplete action so this is another situation for present continuous that is uh, present continuous tense and here it is it's another condition when it is used what is the another condition an incomplete or unfinished action is that clear so we have other conditions where it is also used so what is there we use present continuous when we talk about happening happening periodically suppose for example we use present continuous tense when we talk about things happening in a period around now for example happening happening periodically is that okay something happening periodically for is for example we can discuss you are working hard today or is susan working this week so in this way we can use this tense in a periodic form we have other conditions to where it is used we have of some other conditions where it is used like wise number 4 condition is there 
we use distance to express an action action an action it doesn't matter doesn't matter whether whether it is it is happening happening at the time of speaking time of speaking or not or not it means it doesn't matter whether it is happening at the time of speaking or not so remember that remember that uh, in condition 1 i told you that when we use it we use it generally an action it is happening at the time of speaking like i am writing a sentence and you are listening to me i am speaking to you so all these actions are happening happening together happening now so i am telling you it doesn't matter whether they are happening now or not it means they are happening somewhere likewise in up election in up assembly election assembly election election people are who people are the people of uttar pradesh or the voters of up people are waiting waiting for their new new cm whether it is uh, you know akhilesh or mr yogi whoever but they are waiting it means uh, it doesn't matter whether they are waiting all the time it means they are waiting somewhere else you know they are waiting but it is not matter whether they are waiting all the time 24 into 7 it doesn't matter so here i told you some of the basic uh, conditions basic rules about present continuous tense with when it is used you know and now we talk about some rules and regulations some grammar syntax over uh, how to use grammar how to use this, its auxiliaries how to use its main verb and so on so yahan pe hum dekhte hain that is are am they are generally called in a general form what are they called they are called helping verbs we all know them okay and it is for singular person it is for plural person and it generally refers for the subject that is i okay singular person okay first person singular form first person singular form so we know that we use we use first form first form of the verb adding i and g it means it is called present participle present participle likewise c is looking looking at you c is looking at you so it is present participle or we can say v plus ing we generally uh, don't use this term uh, in advanced form so here it is a name for it what is the name it is present participle we use here so these were the basic rules regulations for the present 
continuous tense. So friends, we are meeting with another tense and situation. And that's all for today. Take care and keep practicing over tenses. Thank you.